and at the end of every part, I'll be praying for the sick. We see many miracles in the wonderful name of Jesus. And right now, I want to talk about some, some, some keys to healing. And that brings me up to the next point, number six, to have your mind renewed. You know, your mind can change. You don't have to stay the same. I love this in Proverbs 4.20. It says this, now reading from the Amplified Version of the Word of God. Verse 20 says, My son, attend to my words. Consent and submit to my sayings. Let them not depart from your sight. Keep them in the center of your heart. See, David, David had a revelation of this word of, that, that, uh, from God in him. And he had it in his heart. So when the negativity came, faith came out of him. And as we meditate on the Word of God, it says here, don't, don't move away. Don't depart from this Word. Keep it in your heart. Get the Word in your heart. For it says this in verse 22. It says, For these words are life to those who find them, healing and health to all their flesh. This Word of God is healing to us. These words are life as you declare it, as you meditate upon it, it will not only change your mind, it's going to touch your body, touch your, touch your spirit, touch your emotions. This word has power. And so this is a powerful key. Having your mind renewed. But the thing is, how do you actually change your mind? How does your mind become renewed? See, Ephesians says this. Ephesians 4.23 and 24 says, Paul said, and be renewed or be changed in the spirit of your mind, that you might put on the new man that was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. Well, this this this, this scripture here took on a great great has great meaning for me because for many years I suffered from terrible anxiety, terrible depression. For most of my life, I had a, I had a father who's an who's a drunken, alcoholic, violent, angry man. I had a mother who's mentally ill. And I grew up with my father's words that I was useless. He called me mongrel and stupid. My teachers called me names. I grew up with such terrible, low self-esteem. And so it's very interesting how even as a grown, young, grown man, the words of my father still hounded me. Every time I did something wrong, you idiot, you fool, you stupid, you can't do it. And the words of my teachers... The words of those people were embedded in my mind. And, you know, I actually acted out. I walked under those words. Those words ruled my life until one day I had a revelation. One day as a young man in church, this, this preacher came. He preached on this very verse. He preached on Ephesians 4.23 and 24 about having your mind renewed. And I'm thinking, how do you get your mind renewed? Then he, he began to talk about practical things that he himself had suffered from depression. And what he did, he got a hold of the Word of God. And uh, he began to put his name in the Scripture. He began to declare the Word over his life every day, every day, every day. You know, in my church at that time, there was a brochure. The brochure was who we are in Christ. And there was 50 Scriptures. And in my heart, I thought, you know what? I've tried everything else. And so I got this, this little brochure with 50 Scriptures. I went home and I, and I decided every day... I'm going to learn a new scripture. Every day, I'm going to put my name in that scripture. Every day, I'm going to meditate on these scriptures. And so I remember next morning, I got up really early. And I had a little journal. I began to write out the scripture. I began to put my name in it. For example, John can do all things through Christ who strengthens him. John can do all things through Christ who strengthens him. John, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. In fact, I even stood, the man said, he used to stand in front of a mirror and eyeball himself and speak it. I thought, that's crazy. But you know what? The Bible says, um, you know, that your, that your eyes are the window to your soul and your souls, your, your emotions and your will. And my emotions were so disturbed, I needed changing in my emotions. So I, the man did it. I, I did it. I began to declare every day, John, John, you are precious in the sight of God. John, you are the apple of God's eye. John, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And so in the morning I'd do it, at lunchtime at work I'd do it, I'd, I'd go for a walk and declare it, and in the evening I'd go to the park, I'd cry the scriptures out, and something amazing happened. After five days of doing this, I began to feel this heaviness come off me. In fact, I began to find a new joy because I found that whenever these negative words came from the past or my low self-esteem, all of a sudden these scriptures would rise up. 
and all of a sudden, these scriptures would, would almost um, just um, take hold and pull down the negative words. And I found myself thinking more positively. positively. And I found myself with a new skip in my step. And for, 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 for many years, I couldn't look people in the eye. And I found after five days, I was actually looking people in the eyes. I had a new boldness and confidence. And I actually did this for about four months. I learned hundreds of scriptures. Changed my life. I want to encourage you. It's the power of the Word of God that changes you. Your mind, your heart, especially if you're sick. If you are sick, you've got pain, you've got cancer or incurable disease, get, fight, get hold of the healing scriptures of God. Begin to declare them over your life. By stripes I am healed. Begin to declare, uh, thank you, Lord, your healing power is flowing through me. Lord Jesus, you are my healer. You're the same, you were the same 2,000 years ago when you walked on this planet. You're the same today. God, you're touching me right now. Begin, begin to declare life and it, that release the power of God through you. So be renewed, be changed in the spirit of your mind. Because, you know, some people right now, you're listening to this, you could be discouraged, you could have pain, disease, who knows, maybe doctors have told you there's no hope for your life. Who knows, who knows you, you just feel like giving up today. But you know what? I believe, as I prayed right now, the power of God, the anointing of God will flow through this video into your sick body, into your mind, into your family situation, into your work situation. Because, you know, God has no distance in time. Time has, you know, right now, as I pray right now, the power of God is going to flow. I want to encourage you right now. As you're listening to this teaching right now, if you've got pain or sickness, put your hand where the pain is. It might be depression or a tumour. It could be problems with your stomach. It could be scoliosis, whatever, whatever need it is. Maybe you, maybe you haven't got enough hands to put your hand over you, the parts that need prayer. But right now, as I pray, the power of the Holy Ghost is going to flow through this video in your body. And all I ask is this, just relax and receive. I'm going to pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, that you are the healer. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for your power. And right now, Lord, I invite you right now to flow through this video into the sick bodies right now, where their hands are, where their hands can't reach right now. I command pain to leave bodies right now. I command pain to leave necks right now, crocking necks and painful frozen shoulders and spines and coccyx. Let pain leave knees right now. Let pain leave ankles right now. Lord, depression go right now. Heaviness, memory loss, Alzheimer's and depression. And uh, right now, even schizophrenia, bipolar. God, refresh minds right now. Lord, let every incurable disease be healed. Fibromyalgia be healed right now. I command all inflammation, leave all the, every joint right now. Arthritis go right now. God, right now, cancer right now. Whatever cancer you've got in your body, I break the power of cancer right now. I declare healing right now in your body. I command tumors begin to shrink right now. I command every cancer cell to die right now. Cancer, go in Jesus' name. Right now, um, nerve diseases, motor neuron disease, Parkinson's disease, MS, multiple cirrhosis. I decree healing for every nerve disease. I command life right now. I command numbness to go right now. I command pain to go right now. Be healed in the name of of Jesus, MS go right now, every nerve disease, lupus right now, arthritis, all pain to go right now, be healed in the name of Jesus. Lord, every disease right now, blood disorders, skin disorders right now, it, uh, kidneys and livers right now, incontinence right now, stomach issues right now. Lord, I want to pray for women right now, you can't conceive. I, de I decree healing for the womb right now, wholeness for the womb. Uh, come against fibroids to dissolve. Endometriosis to be healed. I decree a miracle baby in the next 12 months in the name of Jesus. Spines right now. Every disease, all pain, all disease, go right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to encourage you, check yourself out. Do something you couldn't do before. And always remember, many times we pray, some, many times the healing can be instant, but many can be healed from that hour. God is for you. God is a faithful, faithful God. And just so remember, you know, the powerful keys I've taught today. And then